at you real time. On last week's episode, we were live and giving you lots of new updates. Wow, that's a lot going on in this video. Now we're back at it. Sailing south, baby. How does it look like it fits? We're going to go from... We're prepping for an offshore passage. Do you know how to get out of this if you needed to? We'll go through some safety stuff before pulling anchor for an overnight sail. Tara's first overnight sail. Let's do it. Which one do you prefer? I like, like this. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. It's a rainy day. We are stuck inside. So what are you doing? Organizing? I am organizing. We're stuck inside today. It's raining out there. So it, gets, it kind of like frees up time, you know, because you can't go outside and play anyways. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you enjoy your little um, reorganization. Will do, honey. This is, a, this is a strainer for the starboard engine. Oh, yeah. Do we even ever change that thing? I, I look at it all the time. So it's oh. pretty clean. Interesting. Reese, okay. what is your favorite thing about rainy days? Uh, that we can stay inside and enjoy everybody. You like that? Yeah, and have fun. Oh, I like that. Would you rather it be rainy or sunny? Most, um, both, both. Oh, that's good. You like them both. Very good. Well, today is really rainy. We're in an anchorage behind a jetty, which you can't see because it's so cloudy. A couple weeks ago, I had a patron contact me, and he owns this company, and he thought it'd be really cool if he sent us some of his swag or company stuff. I finally got them in the mail. This is the one I ordered for Jeremiah. Oh, that's cool. This is for me, so I went through my bikini attire, and I'm Try like, ooh. How does it fit? Good. What does it look like? How does it look like it fits? Let's see the back. Yeah. yeah. I have to look in the mirror in a minute. All right, I got two more. I forgot I got this bikini from them. So he that's not a bikini, that's a bathing suit. It's a one piece. Oh, here's another shirt I got for me. Oh, yeah, it's like a half shirt. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, so it'll be with like leggings. Try that on. Well, what am I going to try it on with? I have no Maybe problem. Maybe a bathing suit. Bathing suit? I guess not. I will. And this last one I got for you. That's nice. Yeah, that's cool. Very nice, honey. Thank you. I'll have to say thank you to him. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna go check out my bikini. It's not a bikini, it's a one piece. Yeah, I'm just saying. We've been together for a lot of 12 wear, years. Next time you wear a bikini, are you going to be like, I'm going to go look at my one piece? Yes, I am. <laughs> you're out of focus. Oh, you're out of focus. Oh, you're in focus. Oh, you're out of focus. Oh, it is a focus. rainy day. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Gloom and doom, huh? Gloom and doom. Our windows are condensating like crazy. The boat's sweating. She's so cold, she's shivering. I wouldn't like, call it sweating. Can we please go back to the Caribbean? Whose turn is it? My turn. Bring you for the... My last turn. I'm on my last turn. You ready? Mm-hmm. How many did you get? Three. No, one, two, three, four. Four. No, I got four. four. One, two, three. No, you got three, actually. What are you cooking up? Cajun pasta. It's got a cashew sauce. I love it. Are you nervous? Mm -hmm. uh, this is be terrible. I tried to talk to her this morning about it, but. That's why I want to go through this little brief because, you know, if you're prepared, you'll be less nervous. But there's nothing to be nervous about. It's going to be pretty, pretty chill. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go from. Uh, we were up here in the tip of New Jersey, and we're going to go offshore and sail down the coast to 
just south of Cape May into the Delaware Bay. Weather looks pretty good for this passage. We've been waiting out a little front that's gone through. That's going to be the, the track. We'll, we will probably go a little further offshore. Maybe not quite as far as this guy, but in the middle somewhere because we're going to be going overnight and during the night we want to avoid crab pots. You know, so I think what we'll do is we're going to leave here. We're going to go upwind, which is going to kind of be rough and sucky just to get out of the point around this corner of here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll turn and we'll be going downwind. Around probably 1700 tonight, it should get pretty, pretty calm and easy. Shut one engine down and we'll just motor through the night. When you're on a passage like that, we're a little bit more careful about things, but we don't run the microwave because it puts a big strain on the system and you don't want to do, don't blow something while you're offshore. So don't run, don't run any major appliances. Um, if it's rough, you could use our toilet in here. If you go to the bathroom, I would do that because it's really, really uncomfortable up there. Obviously, if there's any distress call, it would be me that puts it out unless I'm like gone and you need to put it out. Like, let's say we were gone for some reason. We both got washed overboard or something. You need to put stress out. Uh, you can do so right here by lift this little tab, pushing the button. Okay, that sends a distress call. If you're talking to somebody, you talk in 16, right, for emergencies. If you need our, our GPS location, you can find it in three different spots. One is here on the screen. Okay, you can see it right here. So if you're talking to the Coast Guard or whatever, they ask you the location, you just read the GPS coordinates to them. Another place you can find the GPS coordinates is on this. This is our emergency radio. So if we were to ditch, this comes with us and it gives you GPS also. And then emergency stuff like this, this is our ditch bag area. It looks like a mess, but it's a controlled mess. Fire extinguisher, this is a defibrillator, ditch bag, things to plug holes. There's no one down here. And there's all kinds of little goodies for the ditch bag type stuff in there. Okay, so that's emergency gear. This is the EPIRB. If we were like stranded at sea, we would just pull this thing out, flip the tab over, and that sends a signal to the Coast Guard to shoot. So, yeah, it's a satellite device. You want to keep it with you. And yes, I know I'll get comments saying, hey, that's the automatic deployer one. But this is what they put in the boat, and I disabled the automatic deployment part. So this is normally outside, and it ejects it, which I don't like because if you don't keep that, if, you, if it gets ejected, and you're here floating a current, and that goes that way floating a current. Yeah. Let's put this on here. So this is a Spinlock 5D, and uh, it's fitted with um, all the normal emergency gear, but also an AIS transponder. You know what AIS is? So you know how when we are underway on the chart plotter, you can see other boats? Oh, yeah. Well, when you fall in the water with this, this deploys, and you pop up on our chart plotter. So we could see you to drive to you. Okay? So... And other boats can see not to drive into me. Right. Uh, if maybe. Have, if they yeah. have AI, yeah. Don't trust them now. <laughs> Alright, so the best way to put this on, you want to use that's for your legs, right? Okay. So the best way to put it, and when it's rocky, you're gonna wanna you're gonna do this a certain way. Best way to do it when because it, it's gonna be uncomfortable, is take it and lay it like that and step into it, like step to there and there, and reach down behind you and pull it up. You'll see that it's a little uncomfortable when you're out there sometimes. And that's good. That's it. And then this right here goes in here. This piece right here? Mm-hmm. Oh, it goes through it. Mm -hmm. Like a button. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then you turn it. I was thinking like so a button. you can't see that line. Right? Mm-hmm. Are you laughing at me? Without like, getting your business, there's a little pocket inside there. You can see there's a knife. Um, which one this side? Right here? Mm-hmm. So if you need to cut yourself out of something, you just pull this out and you cut right through that. Okay. Um, and then in here is like a light that comes up and flashes and a big life jacket and it's automatic. If it, but if it doesn't inflate automatically, you can also pull this handle and the string will come out and then it will inflate. Out. Either way, it, it will inflate. Um, another way is if that doesn't work, this zipper just undoes. You can just rip it apart or there's a zipper up under here on both sides. Uh, there's a tube in there that you can and pull, pull it up. Mm -hmm. So it's automatic. Uh, or you can manually do the automatic, or you can just manually blow it up. When we're underway, you can wear this all you want. Um, you don't have to wear it inside if you don't want to. Uh, and you don't have to wear it if it's calm in the cockpit until nightfall. Once it's nightfall, we don't go out there unless it's on. Um, no matter what it. condition it is. Right. Do you know how to get out of this if you needed to? Like if you needed to release yourself. Let's say this was, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Put that on. Yeah. Good. <laughs> So if the boat was going down, and this is attached to whatever's going down, you have to release yourself, right? When you're walking with it, 
you're supposed to have it like open in your mm -hmm. hand so and so always hold on but quick. boom right otherwise if you're in here and you're putting it away just go like that okay you want to open that yeah okay all right so when we come out here reese is flipped into this mm -hmm. Okay, he just for side check, I guess. And then you just go ahead and flip right here. Okay. okay we, we sometimes we'll flip up here if it's real calm, but um, we don't like the idea of flipping up there because let's say we did hit something really big or whatever, a whale jumped on top of us, whatever. And this thing broke off because really it's just up by pipes, right? Then you wouldn't really be attached to the boat. Well, you'd be attached to that, which is going down, yeah. right? So you you might get yanked over. So I would recommend flipping right here. This isn't really that sturdy. So, right, and that's it. Then you sit up here and all that. So, you good with that? Good. After Terra's safety brief, we weighed anchor and set off. A quick upwind motor followed by a turn downwind, and we were sailing. Which shows basically the same thing this one's showing. But what I did on this one is I made it head up. It feels yeah. like that, pretty like that. So, you know, use these. What, which one do you prefer? I like, like this. Like north up. I like to see where we're going to. Yeah. Yeah, me It's too. much better to do north up, but. I think it's a woman thing. I've read yeah, all about it. Yeah. What you got here is left engine gauges, port engine, right engine, starboard engine, RPMs. This is just emergency, like warnings and cautions. 90 is where you want your temperature. That's your battery. That should be on it. Yeah, that would go up and down. And that's fuel. Exact same thing over here. I think these are all lights. This is instruments, don't flip anything. You're good. This is our stern and bow thrusters. Radio. That's our chain, you can lower the anchor and pull it up here. Don't worry about that. That's your wind, where it's coming from, what speed, true. This is the autopilot. It should be on nav, usually, or auto. If you hear a beep, look at that, make sure it didn't go to standby. If it's on standby, then you know the boat's not going, it's just floating around, right? And then when, when you want to drive it, you put it on standby. So when you're here, you're, you're going to scan for three things. You're always looking out there for crab pots, and you're constantly looking. Like you can't really look away for more than like 10 seconds because they will pop up on you. You cannot see them far away. They will pop up on you. And if they do, if they hit a crab pot, will turn. Okay. Um, the other thing is the temperature of the engines. And the third thing is anything on the radar. So the radar, this, the radar's running here. So you can look here, which makes it a little easier to see. Like there's a hit. You see there's other stuff here, so it's harder to see that. So you can look here and be like, oh, there's a hit. Look over here. If it's anything, it'll show up. Let's see, I put them about the same. And they're pretty much, it's like the same thing. When we're out in the ocean, we can put up guard zones and stuff like that. But so that's another boat. So is that one? So that's probably that boat. So if you touch it, it tells you it's moving at 1.1 knot, and it will tell you if you're going to hit it. So right now, see that that space? That's good. What you don't want is two broken lines intersecting. So that's good. Okay, so keep it like that. We'll probably move a little bit when we get closer. What you're looking for is boats that are coming to hit you because they will do that here, right? So, you know, you'll see a hit. Okay, what's going on with that that radar hit? And we'll, we'll take a look. What are all those little things? Those are like uh, waves. Oh, so okay. She's picking up. Yeah, sometimes they'll pick up birds. It'll pick up airplanes. That's just like some waves. Okay. Good? Yeah, I just don't see the crab bots usually. Uh, well, you'd have to. Are these polarized? Yep. Yeah, good. That's what you need. All right, it's all yours. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wait till we see a crab pot just so I know what I'm I haven't seen one yet. Oh, well, knock on wood there for Jinx yeah. and me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna see them. You're in charge. It's your boat. We're right a so, teacher, how's the student doing? She's doing great. How do you feel about your first watch? She's or... under her first full sail. Yeah. I haven't seen any crab pots yet. I'm That's still good. looking. But... Don't really have to worry about too much, too much now because you're under sail. But full sail with our speed five still. Yeah, that's not figured. How fast are the winds going? 14. 14 knots? Yes. And where are they coming from? 150 degrees. Now you're sailing. Kara's been up here for an hour. Her first time at the helm on our boat. 
What do you think? Nervous. You're still nervous? I am. Because it's an expensive boat and it's not my boat. Don't run into anything, do you, right? <laughs> oh. yeah. I haven't, as soon as I see that I can find crab pots, I'll be all right, I think. You'll see them. You'll be fine, yep. What's our speed now? Our speed is 5.7 knots. Yeah. I'd like to maintain about six knots, but anything over five is good. How do you feel about giving Tara a watch tonight and overnight? Great. She's going to do great. Yeah? Yeah. Are you nervous? No. How many times do you think I'll wake you up? None. <laughs> Let's take a guess. And you know, there's no How many times will Tara wake Jeremiah up? <laughs> What's the over under? What's your number? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping zero, but I'm guessing it's a three hour watch. Let's, we'll go with one. I'm going to go with three. Okay. Once per hour. That's just based off of my record. I'm always waking him up to check stuff. This turned into a lovely downwind sail. Are you excited to be moving south? Yeah, I'm excited for warmer weather. Right now I'm in this little pocket of sun area. It feels really good. Yeah. It's nice that you got to use your cold weather gear though. Oh yeah, it's amazing. So I got my base layer on. Nice. <laughs> I've moved into my second layer and then the next part is the bib and then after that I'm just I'm at so well we just swat swapped so she's finishing up a little craft with Reese and then we'll move into the nighttime hopefully we will have a nice I would love it if the winds kept up like this this is beautiful yeah. oh my gosh the so 15 true yeah 15 true it's about 130 degrees um, following wind, so it's pushing us right along. Feels great. Yeah, calm seas. Calm. Let's let's hope it stays that way. Yeah, we're just going about six knots, so that's great. Yeah. It, but the forecast does say it's going to quit on us, and we're going to motor tonight. So we'll just motor one engine, and then do a nice little overnight down to the Cape May area. Take the top of the carrot okay, and place a rough Velcro dot on one side of your hood. Put these enclosures up that you see they're great it keeps the cockpit a lot warmer but we have to get them modified because you can't sail with it up so like on this side we had to roll it up as you see here so we're gonna need to they're getting kind of messed up can't zip up like this one didn't reach stuff like that so we're gonna get them redone eventually when we do I'm gonna put something together so that we can just pull the flap off. For now, it's perfect. You can see, it creates like a nice little room. We're making water. So while we go down the coast here, we have two minutes left. The port is full. And I'm gonna add two hours. No, I'll add three hours to it. Right there. So that's gonna go three. Right here's the port side, and the starboard's empty. So I'm gonna go to the back, and there's a little switching valve. But I switch over and that will do it. We'll fill the other side. You guys doing good? We're doing yeah. good. It's your pizza, Ria's name. Is it again? Whisper. Doughboys. Doughboys, I love it. Doughboy, are you a doughboy? No, you're a doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> we had dinner and enjoyed the rest of the day as the sun slowly set in the west. During overnight passages, a good pass down at crew change is important, just like this. Your shift starts in 14 minutes here, super early. That's crazy. I'm usually <laughs> pushing the minute. <laughs> I'm usually like, it's two minutes past, okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was difficult to get out of bed when it was so, so cool. I know. We decided to, there's a fishing obstruction right there. Okay. Which means probably a lot of crab pots. So we decided to go on the inside of it. This boat's going on the outside. That other boat's going to go right along it. Okay. That one's going on the outside. There's also another boat out here, but he keeps popping on and off of radar. Um, he went like the same route we're going. You can kind of line it up on 
coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. Luckily, there's only a couple of boats. I'll let the engine just cool down for like three minutes. Broadcasting everybody. The Coast Guard's recording you. Everything's so... I'm over here like this. <laughs> She's like, well, okay, I'll go back to the Yeah. You can hold on to me if you need me. That is bad. It's ridiculous. It looks like a flock of birds laying on our boat. So there's mold showing up where that condensation is. You can still see the dark spot. We're going to be riding in style. <laughs> oh, we've never had a toilet problem. Uh-oh, is it the baby wipe? It has been pouring rain. They glued it in. <sighs> Honey. Yes? Voice over time. Duty calls. What is this? The blanket? None of the outfit, man. You look like Madonna. Tara and I are knocking out some cleaning. I'm heading to Walmart. Alright, here we go. Have fun. You made it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you're right in front of us. It's gone. I think it looks fine like this. Ha ha. That's great. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.